Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I thought I'd give you a little tour of my nail setup. So I will be moving, so this is all going to change, but I wanted to get this video set up so that way I have a reference as well as you guys. I just have some basic stuff right now. This is my client chair. And I have everything tucked away, so this is how I keep it when I'm not in use. But of course, once I'm using it, I have all this stuff like pulled out. So I just have this basic table, and it has this plastic cover on it. And this is really great for protecting your nail desk, so that way you're not ruining it. So as you can see on here, there's tons of staining from acetone and colors, glitter stuck to it. So it's definitely time for a new one of these because this is quite dirty, but at least it has protected my desk. Then over here, this is what I keep on top of my nail station. So I have my nail lamp here. This has been definitely worn and used so much. It's all dirty. It's probably time for a new one, but I've had this one forever and it's done really, really well. Then over here, I have my Archon mount. But then I have my little lamp here. So this guy comes out like this. Turn it on. I just have this clip here, clip up my hair. These are my dirty bits drill bits that I need to clean. I have my cuticle oil. This one, I really like it's pomegranate and fig and it came in this giant bottle. I just got this at my local beauty supply store. This is a little compact brush. So my little brush is in there. And then here is my drill. It's just a simple one, standard, nothing fancy. And then over here, I have this cute little bin, and this keeps all of my general supplies in it. It's kind of got this like three tier. So in here, I have my big bottle of acetone that I keep on hand. It's usually what I fill up the dampened dishes with. This is another bottle of acetone, but this one has the top, so that comes out the top for your brushes. So that's really handy. So, so I have two. This one is for kind of pouring out, and then this one is used for my brushes. I have some lotion in here. This one's OPI. I got this in a nail kit a long time ago, and it's almost out, as you can see. So that's why it's upside down. And over here, I have my cuticle softener. And in this spray bottle, this is my alcohol that I just refill. Then in the second tier here, I have all of my brushes. So off to this far side is all of my like art brushes. So I have long striping brushes. I have all my detailer brushes in. These I reach for quite a bit. In the second one, I have all of like my fancier brushes. Kind of like this, which these ones are so pretty, but I never reach for them. I don't know why. I also have a little dotting tool in here as well. Then over here are just some swatch sticks that I can use to practice on. Um, and then anytime I do swatching, I'll keep them in here until I get them um, fully filmed and labeled and all that good stuff. But these are all just practice ones in here. And off to this far side, I have a couple cleanup brushes. So this is my older one that I actually use for powders and chromes and glitters. That's why it is all crusty dusty. But this is the one. Um, starting to get a little old, but this is my favorite cleanup brush to use. Then I have my Crystal Katana, my Crystal Picker Upper. I really like this guy. Then this one I use, this is like a little grabber tool. And so I'll use this when I'm using regular polish and taking it off, I'll put the cotton ball in there. Or if I'm using a sponge, I can sponge it on with this as well. And then this one is my Beamy 
beauty box brush so on one end it is a paddle and on the other end is a gel brush so I use this for all my leaf gels and in this last little tier here I keep all of my gel brushes I like to separate them out so that way they're not sticking to everything so this is the one I use for building it's young nails uh, this is the one I use for my color gels it's the oval the light elegance oval number four and then um, this one I use for my glitter gels it's another light elegance one and then in here I have my OPI cuticle exfoliant this one is almost out but I have another one this one's a great product and then in here I just have regular base coat as well as I think a ridge filler and a matte top coat see these are all just regular polishes so that is what I have on top of my desk and then up here on the wall I have my calendar over here this year I got a Wizard of Oz calendar super cute I keep my calendar right there so I can check the days so I could figure out when people can come in next and all that good stuff then over here I have um, two polish racks up and it's kind of like in the corner and then in the little corner I have the swatch sticks that go along as well as my mask that I use when I do nails. I do change this one out from time to time. I think this one's a new one. That's why it's out hanging. But in this first one, just to the right of my desk, of all my Madame Glam polishes. Let me know down below if you guys would want a more individual like brand to go through like all the names of the Madame Glam polishes that I have, as well as swatches, let me know. So those were all my colors. So I have three rows of colors. And on this fourth row, I have my Madame Glam marble inks. Then these ones are the smoothie, part of the smoothie collection. I have a few of those. This one always leaks and I don't know why, but I always clean it up and it still always leaks. And then these ones are my chameleon polishes as well. Then we go down one more row. These are kind of my essential top coats I use. So I have my Cure Sky, Light Elegance, and then my two Young Nails. This one's a stain resistant and this one is regular. I have a couple gelish polishes here. And then over here, these are just kind of my random gel polishes I have. So I have two of the Creations holographic ones. I believe it's a purple and a teal. Then I have some more mood polishes. This is from Le Chat. So I have a clear to a purple as well as a yellow to an orange. I have two cat eye polishes. I have a one single light elegance P plus gel. It was a freebie. I think that's why I have it. And then I have one gel A's from China Glaze. And on this final shelf here, I have all Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes. I use these for stamping. These are my stamping polishes, so that's why I do keep these out. I have a ton of regular polishes, but I don't keep them up on the shelves. I keep them away in a closet just because I don't reach for them as much, but I use these for stamping, so I keep these out. And then moving over here. So this first one here is my Madame Glam swatch sticks. This one right here is my Cura Sky swatch sticks. And then over here, I have Light Elegance and a second Light Elegance. So two Light Elegances over here. And then these are my main gel polishes. I think I have the extra ones like the Gel A's and the Mood Polishes. All the random ones are with the Cure Sky. Then this one, this rack right behind, where I sit is all my Cure Sky. So at the local beauty supply shop that I buy from, when you get a gel polish, you get the regular matching polish for free. And so I do, cause it's free, I do get them. I think they look super pretty right next to each other. So that's why I keep them out like this. 
but I'm sure once I get more in, I will probably put the regular ones away in the closet, but for now they're out. And that way, if any of my clients, I don't do toes generally, but if any of my clients want to borrow a regular polish and do their toes to match, I have the matching polishes. So here's all my Cure Sky. And you guys probably noticed that I rainbow organize all of my gel polishes. So most of these rows are filled. And then we get up to this one. These are all the ombre color changing polishes from Kira Sky. They don't have matching um, regular polishes, which is why they're kind of down here by themselves. Um, some more color changing down here. And then in this corner is the rest of my Insta Dry polishes. I was collecting the Crayola ones, which is why they all have this like Crayola swoosh on it. So now I'll go ahead and sit down and go through what is in my nail desk. So in my, I have just like a basic desk that has the two drawers on the top. And then I also have a filing cabinet that fits perfectly under this desk that I have more stuff in. So we'll go through the top drawers first. And they are quite a mess. I definitely, once I move, I'm going to reorganize all of this. But this is like my glitter drawer. So over here, I have all of my Michaels Recollection glitters, as well as my Martha Stewart glitters. So these are all just craft store glitters. Um, this is my tray that I use when I do use loose glitters to keep it all in. And then it has this nice like little spout that you could pour it back into the bag. That obviously needs a good cleaning. Then I have my random nail art ones that came in these and then in all these baggies right here are all of my glitter heaven glitters <laughs> but yeah that's what's in all these baggies i don't have them um, in boxes or tins yet i just have them um, in these baggies for right now i don't reach for them a whole lot so i just kind of keep them in here um, this bin is just some random nail art glitters and then I keep these are my old cuticle nippers that aren't as sharp anymore so I keep them in here and I use them for taking off crystals and then I do have a tip cutter in here not that I do tips very often but that is in here and I also have my two bins and these are super funny they had chocolates in them, so one is M&M's and one is Snickers, but they're super good like metal tins. So I labeled one clean and then one dirty. So once I clean and sanitize them, they go in the clean bin, and then right after usage, I'll put them in the dirty bin. So that's how I keep those organized. And then if we go on over here to the second drawer, it's all nail art supplies. So right here on top, these are my crystals that I have. I got this storage container from Michaels and I have them all labeled so I know what color they are. I still have some room for some more crystals, but this is what I keep that in. These are more like crystals and gems. So I got some caviar beads, some gold flakes, um, some rings, just some seashells, bows, kind of random ones. And then I have a second container down here for more. I just have a few. So I have some like spiders for Halloween, some pearls. And I have some hair cutting combs and scissors. And then room for more. Over here, this is my personal file and buffer that I use for my nails. On clients, I always use a fresh new set, but on myself, I don't want to waste a new one on me every time, so I keep mine in here when I do my nails. I have some foils cut up in here. I'll place a gel polish on when I do nail art. I have a sponge for when I do sponge. Then I have some like unicorn skin to cut up. And these are all like my dried flowers and leaves. 
I believe this is another. Oh, those are more crystals. Some oval shaped crystals. And then all my dried flowers I keep right here. Then kind of coming back, I have this like little bin that's kind of tucked way back here. So it's this little organizer. And so my stamping plates from um, Bundle Monster and Born Pretty and Young Nails are all this like rectangular shape. So they fit perfectly right here in this front section. Off to this side here, I have more random rhinestones, shapes, whatnot. Over here I have my stack of striping tape. The amount of striping tape I have is ridiculous and I absolutely hate striping tape. So I hardly use them, but I have all the colors. And some extra, like, this is like one of the magnets for the cat eye polishes. I have an extra stamping head back here. I think these are like crushed pearls. Like all the stuff I don't reach for, I put towards the back. In this middle section here, I have all of my chrome powders. So there's the pixie dust, the white pearl, chameleon flakes, the rainbow. And then over here is where I keep my big bling stamper. This is my favorite stamping polish, or stamping stamper, not polish. Um, this, these are swatch sticks of the chromes that I have, and all the swatches are just over black, as well as some random loose glitters that I have somewhere in here. And then this is where I keep all of my clear jelly plates, because they're quite a bit bigger, so I keep them over here. And this corner, so those are the loose glitters I have back here, another stamping head, some more dampened dishes. That is what is in this drawer. And in case anyone's wondering what nails I have on right now, they are my Easter nails. Let's get some better lighting here. So they're my Easter nails. So I will link the video for these nails down below. Make sure to check them out. Okay, so that was what was in the two top drawers. I moved my light over here because I'm losing daylight. So let's go through my filing cabinet here. You could tell I need to clean it. I got nail dust everywhere. Then this first drawer here is like all my essentials. So I have my files here. Um, normally I have two packs of files and I normally have a big row of buffers right here. But since we are in the pandemic, the beauty store is closed. Plus I'm not doing nails right now because of everything going on. So that's why this is empty right now. I have my forms right here, my young nail forms. So generally everything I use for base gel is young nails. I use young nails files, the forms, the gels, as well as the primer are all young nails. Here I have my little, what are they called? Little wipes. <laughs> I have some more wipes. So these are lint free and then these have lint on them. So I'll usually use these for stamping polishes. I have my um, lint roller, which I use to clean off my stamping heads. I have some little practice fingers here. I'm filming a video with some of these, so there's a little sneak peek. Um, I have my stay put jelly, love that. My box of bands. I really don't use the sanding bands. I generally use like the metal um, files versus the sanding bands. I just prefer it. My primer. Then these are all like my extra and backup like top coats or and just whatever didn't fit on my shelf. I have a spray bottle for water for when I do nail art. My ba backup black and white Madame Glam. Um, I don't do acrylics, but I do have some in the back in my closet, but I keep the clear here for when I do textured nails. Um, so I'll insert a picture here as well as link the video down below for when I do 
uh, sweater nails, I use the clear acrylics. That's why I use this to keep this here. Um, some more like base coats, top coats that just don't fit anywhere else. These are all my Young Nail Synergy Gel System. So I have base, flex, build. Um, I think I have pink builder in there. I just have like backup stuff back here. So I have a backup, like this is a regular top coat and there's regular stuff back here. Then in this little corner back here, I keep all of my beamy metal leaves. They just fit perfectly in this corner back here. And then I have my swatches of all my beanie leaves. I love the leaf gels, but I rarely reach for them and I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's in this back corner. Maybe I need to switch it to like the front corner. Maybe I'll reach for it more. Now moving on to the second drawer. It is a lot. Don't come for me. <laughs> it is packed full. Like I'm even starting to like really stack it up all the way to the top. Like this is another drawer another way I need to figure out a better system how to organize all this because it's getting ridiculous um, this bag has more glitters these are all my glitter boutique glitters so I wanted to keep them separate from the glitter heaven Australia glitters so I just left them in the package and it just fits in this drawer right now so that's where they're sitting but I need a better system for my glitters to organize as well as somewhere else to keep my light elegance <laughs> gels it's crazy so in the back i have all of my little acrylic paints and it goes two rows back so it's this first row and then there's a second row back there all of my light elegance gel pots in here and they are double stacked right now so on the bottom layer is all the gel colors and on the top layer is all of my glitter gels and so I actually have them lined up by collection I can't decide if I want to keep them in collections or do them alphabetically although alphabetically doesn't make sense for me personally or um, color coordinate them. I don't know what I want to do with these yet, but it's a problem I need to solve. This drawer is packed to the very top full and I need to find a better system. I don't know. If you guys have suggestions, let me know down below. And then in this bottom drawer right here, I have a lot of like files in the back, so I'm not going to show you the files, but in this front section, I have um, this box is full of my extra swatching sticks, so all my blank swatch sticks. I just buy a big box, so I have them down here. I have my box for my, um, drill, and then an OPI kit down here, which has the cuticle treatment, more hand cream, and cuticle oil. That's what they keep down here, and then the rest is all just, like, files boring stuff all right so that is my whole nail desk station here so i think it worked well for the space that i have it in now but i'm very excited to move and reorganize stuff so let me know down below if you have any organization tips of course, I always watch all of Talia's Nail Tells videos and organizations. She has tons. In case you need some, go check her out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you would like an updated nail station tour in my new place. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.